Hello again, and welcome back to Deep Fear. Today we're going to be exploring the apartment area, but before we get into that, I have one quick thing to do in the menus. So, I'm going to head into the items, and I think I mentioned before that you can set one item to the Z button on the Sega Saturn controller. And throughout this entire playthrough, I have had it set to the air grenade. But uh, I've realized I really don't use the air grenade too much. So I figured it would be a lot more helpful if I set it to the small health kit. So all you have to do is just go into the menu, go over here to set, and click that. So there you go. Now it is set to the Z button. Anytime I get in trouble, I can just press that, and it'll apply a health kit to my character. So, all right, let's get going. Let's get, let's get started exploring the apartment area. So um, over here, you can see that there's a, a nice little picnic area for the employees when they're not being attacked by uh, angry mutants or turning into angry mutants. But uh, so the apartment area is kind of a large, um, a large open area. It's got a couple floors and it's uh, unfortunately a little boring. Uh, you go into one room and find one item, and then you go into the next room find an item, and that's pretty much what you're doing throughout this part of the game. So, um, I'm sorry about that. I'll try to make it as interesting as I can. And the first room that we're going to head into is a little, uh, shop that sells, uh, looks like food. It's like a little, uh, little grocery store. And unfortunately... I think the staff has turned into mutants. Alright. So, we're gonna head right over here, and yes, we're gonna pick up a hamburger. And believe it or not, this is a key item in the game. Alright, and over here we have some um, submachine gun ammo and the ammunition is unlimited I think that what that does is actually increase the amount of ammunition that you can carry at one time because obviously the it wouldn't be um, actually ammunition since all of that's unlimited And now the next room we're going to head to is this uh, health bay. And uh, let's just look over here for one second. Uh, is it just me or does that kind of look like a green herb? Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I kind of feel like it's not. And over here, I think I could pick up some more air grenades, but I actually have a full a full inventory of those. But right here, yeah, there's some small health kits. Only needed one. And here's a sick guy. He doesn't really have much to say. And other than that, oh, here's... Um, more submachine gun ammo. And here I can just recharge my air, my regulator. So let's get out of this room. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of this in the apartment area. But I think the good news is that completes the first floor. So the next thing we're going to do is hop on this elevator and go to the second floor.
so there's some dogs here. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to avoid them since they're practically impossible to hit anyway. Alright, here's the restrooms. And once again, yet another room that practically has nothing in it. Oh, except for that monster. Hold on. Alright, so that was a grenade, and uh, that's it. So, on to the next room. Oh, okay. Now this is really good. Prepare yourselves. You're going to meet Rambo. Just for that, I'll tell you that the torch is in the DN area. Come with me to the CCD area. It should be safer there than here. No. I don't like Navy folk. Besides, I have this. I'll return to the DN area. Your own area is the safest. I'll give you this. It's the DN area spare key. Use it. So what do you think of Rambo? Alright, so here's a jukebox. Can't do anything with that. We'll see Rambo a few more times throughout the game. But, uh, he is just the like, cutest little fat thing I've ever seen. Alright, so, and I also want to point out that this restaurant is apparently called Glutton. So, that's fantastic. quickly run to the next room so we don't get attacked by any dogs and here is the showers and there might actually be nothing in this room but we'll find out Okay, so there is a grenade. So, wonderful. I think I already had the maximum amount of grenades, so that didn't really help me. Um, and I just noticed my HP is a little low, so just to be safe, we're going to press the Z button, and there you go. So, I just got some health. On to the next room.
And I thought since we had some time, this might be a good chance for me to actually talk about the hardware that I'm using to play this game. I am using all, all um, actual hardware. I'm using the actual Japanese Deep Fear disc, and I am using a white Japanese Sega Saturn. It's a beautiful machine, and I bought it at last year when I was in Akihabara. So I'll uh, flash some pictures of my trip to Akihabara for you. There are a lot of Sega-related things. That's uh, one of the one of the main things that I wanted to do whenever I went to Japan last year was buy a Sega Saturn at Super Potato, and uh, luckily I was able to do that. The connection that I'm using on the Sega Saturn is actually a uh, apparently a European standard, not one that I've ever experienced in the United States. It's called SCART, S-C-A-R-T, and it's the best signal you can get from a Sega Saturn, from an actual unmodified Sega Saturn. Alright, so let's go to the third level. Apparently, SCART is the most color correct, and from that SCART, I'm actually going into a HDMI upscaler. So that's how I'm getting the clear image that you're seeing. So here we are, um, here's a note. Alright, so this is a note from Anna, and she's saying, Hey rescuers, there's no way you're going to get these monsters with the weapons you have. Here's a weapon card for you guys, be careful and good luck. Alright, so she's going to give us a weapon card, um, and we will uh, go use that right now actually. It actually didn't even give you an indication that you got a weapon card, which is a little strange. But it does, you do get one. I have some air grenades, we don't need those. So let's go over to here and let's see what she gave us. So what she gave us was this Mossberg. This is a shotgun and it is fantastic. So I'm going to definitely equip that. This can take down enemies that the uh, little pistol would have taken 10 shots to take down, this can do it in 2, and it can hit multiple enemies, so this is really the one to go with. Alright, let me just make sure that that is equipped. Um, oh, actually, I didn't choose it. Hold on one second. Select. There we go. Alright, and it is set to the Mossberg. And look at that. That is great. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright, on to the next room. So here's some shells for the shotgun. And yeah, it does look like it just gave me a larger capacity uh, that I can hold at one time. Oh, and here's a tape. We'll use that in a room shortly.
Ooh, sir. Ooh, jeez. She's right there. Alright, as you can see, it took one shot to take that enemy down. Alright, so this door is locked. It seems like it says Danny right there. But I do not have a key, or maybe it's just locked. Um, I can't go in there right now. And this is um, the access to the DN area. We do actually have the key for that, but for now we're going to go into the rest of the rooms in the apartment area. There's a couple of these popping enemies that with the other other weapons would cause me some trouble, but with the Mossberg, no trouble at all. Alright, let's just see if there's any items in this room. There actually might not be anything. Oh, here's some health kits. That's good, I guess. And another grenade. I seriously have not used any grenades, and I probably won't. I mean, since they give you so many, I mean literally unlimited ammunition, there's not a whole lot of reason to use the grenades. There might be one more room to see in the apartment area. Oh wait. Did I miss some? Oh no. Let's actually head down to the second floor. We can watch that tape in the one room with the um, projector screen. go. Okay. Video deck. So, let's go ahead and use this tape. Here we see the big table. And the sea fox. And that's it. Well, that was worth it. Okay, on to the DN area. Right there again. Oof. There we go. Two at once. Perfect. Alright, let's just grab the 
key to the DN area and use it. 